Good morning, all. After my beach moment, not beach moment, yesterday on Instagram, <laughs> I did this sort of fake beach moment yesterday. Oh, okay. But a few people said to me, "How do you, um, you know, look after your body mm -hmm. and and food you eat and stuff?" And I'm, uh, well, we can share that today. I just thought I'd do a live. But Natalie and I thought, I don't know if you've been following fabulous Natalie. She's been training me for the last three months properly. Yes, yeah. And you. we've done about five different films. We've done mm -hmm. uh, uh, like. 15 minute films on bottoms, yeah. Yeah. Um, stomach, tummy, mm -hmm. arm. Yeah. We've done um, a 30 minute film on using these great bands, which we've got here, like uh, that. And they're all listed on yeah. the blog, but you can buy them from Amazon. Um, and we're gonna use those today. But um, it's an opportunity for you to ask a few questions whilst we're doing it, and um, just about you know how I eat and all that stuff that you can ask. Um, and also, we're going to do today a 30-minute workout because I think lots of us just have 30 minutes. So what can you do in 30 minutes that's quite intensive, but not at a gym? That's the, that's the concept, all right? So I'm gonna switch it around, and Natalie's gonna take over, and I'm just gonna do a few seconds of, um, let me just clean up the camera, A little camera, bit of sorry. mobility, a bit little... of muscle activation. Okay, great. Okay, so, so. We always start like this, don't we? Yeah, so lying on your side, yeah. knees stacked, yeah. deep breath in, exhale, bring the arm back. And this is just to wake up the body, get any stiffness out of the spine, um, stretch out the chest, and it really does help you start to gently bring you into so some much. movement. Yeah. Right, this is like, this is my favourite thing, because I sleep like this. So to do this when you first wake up, I, I sleep like that. So just to do this, and also, Natalie, we have worked out for about a month. So I have gone backwards a bit, or three weeks. Uh, two weeks. Two weeks, two yeah. Weeks? It's just oh, been two weeks. Three weeks, because you were away before. It's been three weeks. It's been two <laughs> It's been some time. It's been... <laughs> I'll tell you what happens. When you go over 50, when it's been even two weeks, you feel you regress quickly. Because if you hadn't worked out for two weeks, Natalie, mm. you'd be, like, chomping at the bit still. So for me, it's like getting back in the routine, Getting back to the concept that I've, it's important for me to do something so for my body right twice a week. Um, because otherwise I do feel sluggish and tired. And the first time we got back on Monday, I felt exhausted the whole day, Natalie. I have to say, yeah. just because my whole body was not used to putting all no. that energy and personally in the morning. Let's switch um, to the other side. That was a tough workout that you did the other day, though. Yeah. It was yeah. tough. I was, I, it was a baptism of fire again. It, it was. was. And sometimes having the right partner to work out with. I mean, the great thing about your coming here is that it makes me do it, Natalie. If I mm -hmm. actually leave the house to get somewhere, I haven't been so dedicated. So at the moment, doing that's been fantastic. But then yeah. self-motivation once you're in it is easier. But we have um, somebody who joins us sometimes who's much younger <laughs> than me, and she motivates me because she's fit. She's really fit. <laughs> Trini's workout buddy. Okay, well, reach up and over the head just to get that bigger range of movement in for the shoulders and you get a nice big stretch then. Good. This is a great one to do if you sit at a desk um, because you're usually hunched over or you look at your phone a lot. This because it opens up the chest because normally you're sat closed in, rounded, with your rounded shoulders. So this is a great one to do. Last one? Yeah. Okay, right. Okay. Now... You're going to do a tiny bit of ab work, okay. just a little bit, in the form of bicycle crunches. Okay. So I want you to place your hands behind your head, bring your legs into a tabletop. Do I want this on or not? You can keep that, that it's, it's not going to make okay. a difference. Yeah. Hands behind your head, legs in tabletop, lift yeah. your chest, yeah. extend your right leg and bring your right armpit towards your left knee, and then you're going to switch to the other side. That's like it. This. Good. And keep your elbows wide so that you're leading the movement more with the armpit as opposed to the elbow, and you'll automatically feel that in the stomach a little bit more. Yeah. I can smell bacon. I can smell bacon too. Oh this my is... God, it's okay, it's motivation, Trini. Oh, bacon. <laughs> yum, yum. Crispy. In a nice bag with lots of butter. Oh, oh no. yes. Okay, right, let's keep going with these <laughs> bicycle crunches. You've got another 10 seconds here. And then we're going to do some little pulses to intensify the movement. How's your neck feeling with this? Fine, it's good, good. It's good, yeah, all right. good, good. I'm really focusing on making it come for my stomach, and then I feel my neck doesn't hurt. Absolutely. I like, Stop doing that. I and, feel I could be getting it into. And the neck. you can see that Trini's lower back is firmly down on the mat, which is good because that means she's not 
hinging into her lumbar spine so much and she's working her lower abdominals more. Okay, I want you to pause to the uh, left knee and go for eight little pulses to that left knee. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides, go for eight pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides, six pulses. Trini, you can do it. I am mean, but it's good for you. (laughs) And switch, six, five, four, three, two, one. Turn for four pulses. Three, two, one. Remember, this is your quick, intense workout. Two, one, two. Good. And last two. And rest. Have a stretch. Stretch out those abs. Stretch out deep breaths. And you're going to come up onto your feet. So just turn onto your left side and then come up onto your feet. We're going to come into the dynamic lizard stretch, Ooh, which I've never heard you, say that. Okay. <laughs> you have done it though. Maybe I haven't used the okay. name for it. Okay. It's where you're in the high plank position. Yeah. Then you bring one foot forwards, your left, say your left foot forwards, then you reach yeah. up with the same arm. Okay. You have done it before right. a few so times. Down into a plank. Down into a plank. So down yeah. into a plank, high yeah. plank position. Yeah. Bring your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Yeah. Uh, so you want to bring your foot forward, yeah, that's yeah. it. Then you're going to reach up to the sky with your left hand. Oh, that's it, then hand down. Yeah. On the ground, pl- place your foot back. Yeah. Bring your right foot forwards. Good, and reach. Good. Now once you get into the flow of this, it's, it's, a, nice, it's a really nice one to do and it becomes easier. This gives you a stretch around the hip. So you're probably feeling a little bit of a stretch, especially yeah. if you're stiff from the other day. Do you remember the time when I couldn't get my leg forward? Yep. This, I had to, this one I had to do. I had to do this with my hand. And it didn't forward. come as far forward as that, did it, Trini? No. So I really actually feel that I've come forward a bit. Yeah, you've come a huge way. Massive way. Push in a little bit more. You're a bit tighter on that left side. So I want you to try and get closer to the ground. Bend the knee a little more. Good. And this is a nice, gentle way of raising the heart rate. Okay, and switch. You're going to do one more on each side. And then that band is going on. Good, last one. And now walk your hands towards your feet so you can come up to standing. Shrug everything off, have a bit of a shake. Are you feeling warm? Yeah, I'm feeling warm. I'm ready to go. Good, perfect. Right, grey band. Grey band. Grey band. It's going around your mid-shin area. So mid shin. So these bands are literally like um, ten pounds at Amazon. Not even. They're yeah. about three pounds each. <laughs> They're so cheap. Right. Yeah. Um, you're gonna shin, bring it shin. up to a little higher. Yeah. Mid shin. That's it. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Stand, stand with your feet a little wider, yeah. and toes slightly turned out. Yeah. The first thing you're gonna do is squats for sixty seconds. Yep. Yeah. So, you're going to push the hips back, yeah. and then you're going to do a little pulse. So it's a squat okay. with a difference. So you're going to pulse, pulse, then stand. Okay. Pulse, pulse, then stand. Exactly. And you're going to squeeze the glutes when you stand up. Good. So having the hands the right way around took me forever, because I used to do that when I did a squat. Yeah. But it meant my shoulders do that. Uh-huh. So just going... And, and then turning the palms forwards yeah. means the shoulders open out a little bit, which and is... I clutch my bum better, actually. Yeah? Yeah. Good, because you want to be squeezing your butt when you stand. And if you get nice and low in that squat... Good. Halfway through. And that little pulse is just challenging the muscles, but we're not adding any weight. So this is really a minimum equipment workout. Get a little lower in your squat. Good. Yeah. When we've got, when we're just chilling breeze and shooting the breeze. Yeah. Um, okay, right. You've got another 10 seconds here, Trini. I want you to get a little lower in that squat. Um, going for another three, two. Good. And last one. Okay. Now you're going to turn around to face me. I want you to walk your hands out into a high plank position. Yeah. From there, 
you're going to do leg lifts. So I want you to bring your hips down a little bit. So that's it. You're going to lift your right leg twice and then your left leg twice. So this is getting the glute maximus firing. So the one in the center of the back but also really challenging the upper body. You're oh, only yeah. doing this for 30 seconds. You've got 15 seconds to go. Okay. Really keep that stomach nice tight. If you've missed any videos, you can find them. If you go onto Trini's Instagram account, you can find that or on the blog. They're on the blog, aren't they? Yeah, so you go to trinilander.com okay. forward slash g time blog forward slash exercise. Last one. And walk your hands back to your feet. Good. Shrug off those shoulders. You're feeling it? Good. Okay. Right. Just put it under one foot. Take hold of the ends of it. Yeah. Actually, but, uh, sorry, put it over, put both feet in there. Yeah. And you're going to come into some bicep curls. So we're going to get those arms nice and toned. So bicep curls, because you've just really worked the triceps in the I plank. Have, do I have that like that? Does yep, exactly. You can wrap it around if you want a bit more resistance. Yeah. Okay, then hold it like that. And I want you to pull fast, but then slowly lengthen the arm. So when you slowly lengthen a muscle, that's another way of adding some extra resistance, making it a little harder. Good. And this is a great band. It's called a TheraBand. You can use it for lots of different uh, types of exercises. Uh, we use them in Pilates and physios use them quite a lot too. What theraband? Theraband. Okay. Well, that's the so name like therapy. for Yes, therapy. exactly, okay. exactly. But I'm stretching my bottom as I'm doing this to just yep. hold it in. Is that all right? Or... Absolutely. Bring the shoulders back. In fact, if you're always clenching your bum, then you're naturally going to tuck your pelvis in, which means that you're taking pressure away from your lower back. And it's a great way of creating a perp butt while you're doing other exercises. And I try and clench my butt as much as I can, because otherwise I'm there. Yeah. So I'm just always trying to do that. Yeah. Every <laughs> day, I'm walking down the street, oh, let me do a bum clench. <laughs> there you go, Trini's top yeah. tips for, for creating a nice pert butt. <laughs> Any other tips, Trini? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> right, I want you to keep those shoulders right back. Go for another three. Good. Two. And last one. Perfect. That band can go, you can take that band to one side now. Move it to one side rather. Yep. And you're back into your squat. Oh, yeah. Okay. So tell okay. us why we do things in threes. Things in three, so we do three sets because one is not enough. You want to damage the muscles as much as you can. That's actually what you're doing when you exercise. You create, you rip the muscle fibers. And if you do it three times over, you're more likely to rip more muscle fibers. It sounds scary when you say that for a real amateur. Okay. He's getting back into exercise. Yeah. When you say rip the muscle fibers, it sounds like, oh <laughs> well, that, that, Okay, so you, you create muscle damage, but it's positive damage. And then when the muscles repair, they repair stronger. So it's similar to, you know, exfoliating your skin. Oh, it's great way of putting it. Now so, I really get that. Okay, there we go. Going for another 20 seconds here. I want you to go a little faster this time, Trini. Get that heart rate up. Um, by clenching your butt all the time, does it not make the muscle on the outer glute bigger? If you're clenching your butt all the time, it is going to get a little bit bigger, but you would have to use... Very heavy weights. You would use heavier weights to really get that hypertrophy, so that muscle growth. But what you're going to do is help it to keep nice and pert rather than getting a saggy butt. Okay, last 10 seconds. Really push those knees out. So we're using this band because this is getting into the glute medius, which is a hip stabilizer. And again, that, that's going to help give you more of a streamlined hip appearance, but also it, from a functional perspective, it keeps your hips nice and healthy, your knees nice and healthy. Last two, one more, good, and stand, right, okay, water break, always important to stay hydrated when you're working out, and then we're back to the plank, this time, do you want to do the plank from the, si the side view, so yeah. if you're, there we go, so band's going to come down a little bit, yep, yeah. yeah, that's it, yeah. now if you roll down, walk your hands out into a high plank position, 
Yeah. Okay, hips tucked in, lower them a little bit. Yeah. Good. Now you're going to lift one foot, that's it, and then the other side. Keep the legs super straight. Use your quadriceps here, Trini. Good. And you can see her shoulders are nice and stable. Lift your upper mid back a little bit more. Good. Belly button lifted, hips barely shifting. I find this it's, a, it's such a hard exercise and it's tough on the upper body as well. So it's a good shoulder workout and tricep workout. Five seconds, you can do it. Three, two, one. Walk your hands back to your feet. Excellent. Okay. A little breather. Heart rate is going up. Yellow band. Bicep curls. This is real life. Trini's heart rate is elevated. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> and probably you're just watching, going, brushing your teeth, going to bed in Australia, or getting up, just thinking, oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> I hope you, you can switch on sometime and try this, because it's kind of great. I've, I mean, it sounds so weird, but when I've been thinking, oh, I need to do something, I've gone onto the blog and listened to my own, which is really, what, really weird watching yourself <laughs> do exercise. But actually, Natalie, you give such good tuition that just listening to your voice, um, I know what I'm doing because I've done the exercises. Yeah. And then once you've done the exercise for a bit, you can just listen to the voice and know what to do. You know what to do, yeah. Yeah. Right, I want you to bring the shoulders back a little so bit more. You think about that when you're talking, that you imagine if somebody can't see it. Yes. Are we describing it well? Uh-huh. Do you see what I mean? Mm-hmm. This is what to do. Yeah. So with the bicep curls, you want to position your shoulders back. So you're gently squeezing the shoulder blades together. You completely straighten the arms holding the band and then you want to bend the arms as much as possible because you want to create them at the mus you want to make the muscle as short as you can. So you're contracting it completely and then you slowly lengthen the arms. The bands we've got for are from Amazon. Um, you there's hundreds on there, so really just select the most popular one. Take a deep breath in, lengthen the arms, exhale, bend. Good, slowly lengthen the arms though. So let's go for it, change the pace now. So I want you to lengthen for three seconds and then bend the arms for one second. Good, three, two, one, bend. The reason I'm doing this, the Trini, is because this is maybe a little bit light and then by slowly lengthening the muscle, the muscles are under stress for a bit longer. Let's go for two more. And last one. Good, perfect, right. Band away. Last time you're doing this round of exercises, okay? So we've got Come the on, everybody. <laughs> we've got the squats first of all. So going down now. No, back up. You've got squats first. That's it. <laughs> but that was an extra added on little little exercises. <laughs> okay. Slightly, slightly legs slightly out. Yep. Bending, yeah. bending, arm In fact, can we see this from the front this time, Trini? Yeah, That's it. Right. Yeah, so, so toes slightly turned out. Slightly turned out. Squat, squat, squat and stand. Good. How important is it to get to us so that your knee to hip is straight? So, sorry, how... So it, your knee to hip is straight. So how important is it to get this yeah. totally straight? Okay, so this actually d is entirely dependent on biomechanics, so personal biomechanics. If you're not very flexible through the calf muscles, the hamstrings, or even uh, you haven't got mobility in the hip, you're not going to get super low. The lower you go in the squat, the more your bum is going to be working in okay. the squat. But honestly, as long as you can get to, you don't have to get to um, 90 degrees, but as close to that as possible okay. is best. If, you're, if you can't get very far at all, I recommend sitting on a chair and standing up. That's okay. a modification. Um, but what you don't want to do is tip forward onto your toes. That's okay. really bad. I'm keeping my toes curled up Yeah. to make sure I don't, because otherwise it's kind of like that. And then you, it's to me all on my knee. Uh-huh. So I keep, actually, my toes are like this and not on the floor. Okay, so that's, that is a good cue, that's a good proprioceptive cue. You do want to aim for having your toes on the floor a little bit, okay. but if you feel like you consistently tip forwards, yeah, lifting your toes is great because then you're putting the weight through the heel and you're taking pressure off the knees. See if you can lift your chest a little bit more when you squat. That's it, let's go for three. Good, you've got two. 
Is it just me or are your workouts getting tougher, Natalie? Yes, I would say she is. But oh. We are doing a 30 minute intense kind of cardio yeah. moment. Well, not full cardio, but just Natalie's kind yeah. of with me cardio. Right. Okay. Plank, leg lifts. Oh, Trini's hate Trini hates this oh, exercise. No, I do. This Look, is so, is, so, that, so that's it. She hates it because it's tough, but oh. this is what's going to give you results. So when something feels like that, you're getting the best results. Lift, lift, good. Two lifts on per side, please. That's it. Keep the leg as straight as possible. Make it a small but precise movement. That's it. So you're really clenching the bum when you lift the leg. Lift your belly button a little bit. Good. So Trini trains two to three times a week. And we do a, we do a combination of resistance training and Pilates and cardio. Last three, two, one, walk your hands to your feet. Perfect. Right. Where were you feeling that the most? I'm just feeling it. The exertion I'm feeling. Yeah. The okay. exertion, yeah. It's a good one for getting the heart rate up without jumping around as well. So, water break is happening, then we're back onto those bicep curls. Take some deep breaths just to prep yourself. Yeah. Okay, the, after this, that mini band can come off. And we've had some requests for back of the arms, so triceps. So we will go through some tricep exercises. Great, I'd love to too. Okay, right, so. Trini, this time, last round, so I want you to go a little bit heavier. Wrap the band around your hands just once. <laughs> but you like this, you're getting results. Like it. Okay, yes. shoulders back, shoulders deep, back. Breath. deep breath. Exhale, pull on those bands. Squeeze those biceps. I am Wonder Woman. That's right. I can do it. <laughs> I want to wear sleepless dresses for years to come. Give <laughs> yourself those messages, ladies. That's it. Positive I affirmations. I overhead light and I see too much weird shadow jiggly bits on my arms. <laughs> okay, right. Get those shoulders back a little more. I want to be strong so I can climb mountains. That's it. Now, these are the kind of affirmations I really want to hear. <laughs> Okay, really get those shoulders back. Pull, slowly lengthen the arms. Keep those biceps under load. That's it. Think of those toned arms, shoulders back a little more. Toned arms, toned arms, toned arms, toned arms. Toned You've arms. got three. Good. Two. Last one. That's it. Last one and rest. Good. You can't not do the last one. No, I, I make... Off? Yep, band off. Band off. Band off. Band off. Um, okay, yeah. right, Next. another favourite exercise of yours with the glider. We're just going to do a couple oh. of glider lunges. Okay. Sink unilateral leg work. Is it good, is it better to eat before you work out? Um, not straight before, not straight before, but I'm, having yeah. a little shake. I'll tell you what I had this morning. I had, I had liquid vitamins, so liposomal vitamin C, COQ10, alpha thing, whatever, D3 actually as well, because I wear a lot of sunscreen, uh -huh. and then I had the Motion mm. um, workout, uh, pre-workout, which has in it maca, I think, and maca, beetroot, because beetroot increases nitric oxide, is what? <laughs> beetroot increases nitric oxide, which gives your muscles, it makes your blood vessels dilate, get more energy into those muscles, fantastic, so that's why I had that, and then I had Vivitas, that's protein powder, um, uh, platinum powder, which has a ton of collagen and other things, but it's a very good... I'm just going to take one of these because we're oh, just going to use one, one and okay. I'm going to demo okay. briefly. So, yeah. Okay, so. so just lunges. One for the, You're going to be working that left leg. So yeah. you're going to just slide the glider back, come into a leaning lunge, okay. and then stand. Okay. So, so the trick with these little buggers, because I don't love them, is it... Um, <laughs> Why, why are they good? Should I go sideways? Yeah, yeah, go sideways. It might get caught on the wood, uh, the grain a little oh, yeah. bit. Okay. So but oh, it's okay, I can film over here, yeah. So then I'm just going back yep. and forward. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And what are the most important things for me to think about? Why is this good with the slider? And where should I be thinking about, you know, the position of my body? Yeah, okay. So we're using a glider because you can then... It it's really makes you put all of your weight pretty much on one leg. So we're losing that glider. <laughs> uh, 
Um, and here you're positioning, you want to have your hips pushed back, which Trini's are, the weight through the heel, similar to a squat, and you push the knee out just a tiny bit, and you want to keep that knee as aligned as possible, so there's barely any movement. Now Trini's going to be feeling this in her quadriceps, but also her glute medius here. And her adductors are working, which are the inner thigh muscles. It's a one-sided exercise, which means that she's creating more muscle balance and her, she does have muscle imbalance, so it's good to do. Go for another three, two, one more, bring that glider back in. You're going to switch sides. Shake off that leg for a second. What's interesting is I feel that it took me a while to realise that I'm doing all the work in the leg that's not on the glider. Yeah. You know, and I always felt, oh, I should be doing some of the work on the leg that's on the glider. Right. But, but I realised then it was, about, it was about the standing leg. Exactly. And you're yeah. challenging your balance as well. And because you have had some knee, knee problems injury, in the yeah. past, this is a really great one for increasing stability. So... You actually barely, you're barely putting any weight on that glider. And if you have, if you don't have a glider, you can use a towel if you do have a sort of polished floor, like a wooden floor. Or, again, gliders are on Amazon super cheap, and I personally use them for my own workouts quite a lot. Because you can do some similar movements um, that you would do on a reformer, so a Pilates reformer. Yeah. Exactly, it is so, that sliding. Yeah, exactly. I'm, feeling it. I'm really feeling it here. Good, that's and where you here. want to feel I'm it. Feeling it here. Yep, feeling it in all the right places. Even your calf muscles work in this one. Okay, I want you to go for another five. Good, inhale to send it back, exhale to bring it forwards. Shoulders back, Trini. Good. Two, last one, and bring it in. Shake off those legs. Okay. Right, you're going to do some tricep exercises now. We're going to use this little bench here, tricep dips. Yeah. So this is for the back of the arm. So that's for this bit, defining this bit. Okay. Right, palms, that's it, fingertips forwards, yeah. shoulders back, yeah. hips just off the edge of that bench. And you're going to inhale, lower your body towards the ground and then exhale, press. But it's really important that you're just using your arms here and not cheating by moving your hips up and down using your legs. How far out should your legs be? Okay, so that's the, my next point. The more lengthen they are, the harder it's going to be because you're creating more resistance. Do you feel the difference? Yeah. The closer they are to your hips, the easier it's going to be. Shoulders back, Trini. Good. Go for five, four, three, two, last one. Sit on the bench. And you can do this like on the back of a sofa, you know, where you've got the cushion, take off the cushion and use that. It just needs to be the amount of height. There might be a bench around your kitchen table. Yeah, absolutely. You need this step thing. No. Yeah. Okay, shake off those wrists because sometimes it gets a little into that wrist right. Okay, oh, you're alive now. Yes, right. and next. Okay, cardio. Yeah. Little toe taps using this bench. <clears throat> or the, sorry, this, we'll, use the, we'll use this step. We'll keep it a bit lower. Okay, yeah. Okay, so... Going hopping from one foot to the, the bench, other. You, you can you use the bet. Yeah. If it okay, higher is going to be more difficult. Yeah. The step is going to be a little easier. Should we start with this? Let's start with that. If you okay, feel good, we'll move yeah. on to the bench. Okay. okay. So. Right. Little toe taps. You quickly switch from one side to the other. So it's a hop like this. So hop, hop. That's it. Perfect. So it's a light touch down of those toes. You squeeze the stomach. So you're actually working the core with this one as well. And glasses are on the ground. Okay, right. Nice and fast. 30 seconds. It's pretty, it's kind of gentle, this cardio. It's, um, but it really gets that heart rate up very quickly. So it's good getting you into that fat burning mode. Nice deep breaths. You're going to be using the calf muscles and the quadriceps here. And the stomach. You've got five, four, three, two, one, and six. Stop. Shake it off. Okay. Okay. So this is a nice intense workout. You're back to the uh, you're back to the glider. One more time. Forty five seconds. Your time starts now. That's it. So you're bending and extending that right leg. Bring the shoulders back. 
good. And those legs are already going to be burning a little bit yeah, from are. that, <laughs> from that, from the toe taps. How's your knee feeling? It's okay. Push into my hand a little bit. That's going to activate your glute more. Good. So we've got the hip stabilizers working, that glute medius area, the stabilizing muscles surrounding the knee, and the ankle. If you if you imagine you're scrunching a towel under your toes on that left foot, you're going to feel the ankle work a little harder. The muscles around the ankle, shoulders back. You've got another two. One more. Bring it in. Shake it off. And switch sides. Feeling it, really feeling it today. Probably mm -hmm. still a little tired from your workout the other day as well, because that was a tough one. Okay. <gasps> right. <laughs> take, okay. take one step forwards. That's it. Okay. And let get nice and low. Let's go. 45 seconds. Good. Inhale to send the leg back. Exhale, bring it forwards. Good. Push into my hand a little bit. And remember that um, towel scrunching sensation on the right side. If you've had an ankle injury, so you've, if you've sprained your ankle at any point, this is a great exercise to do because you're working on getting those stabilizing muscles strong again. And you're even strengthening those ligaments. Okay, Trini, you have another five, four. Keep the torso nice and still, bring the shoulders back. Last one, bring it in, shake off those legs. Okay, shake everything off, have a little shake. I'm going to do a little swipe here. Just show okay. You. I just need to do that, stretching out my, my leg. That's it. So Trini does this regularly because it really loosens up the hips. It decompresses that hip joint. So it's a nice one to do. And a ballerina showed you this, didn't she? Yeah. And she showed me these very exercises. She met me and Christiane Louboutin. I'd always been saying how much I hated my legs. And she said, I can give you the best legs. And so I said, please come to my house tomorrow. She was the most expensive woman I've ever had in my life. She was a bit eccentric. She was about 80. But in six months, she gave me a great leg. Great. The, you know, the, the time. But they were very weird exercises. And Tricep dips. And also, because she was a ballerina, she'd been used to having such a strict eating plan that it wasn't a realistic one for somebody who wasn't a ballerina and I just mm. didn't like how how much she abstained from food. Didn't feel healthy. Come but forwards a little bit. They were weird ones. That's probably why you, if you didn't have much body fat. What? If you didn't have much body fat and you increased some muscle that's why yeah. you're like so it's not it's not real you know, sustainable. Like you said. No, I didn't really do have food stuff. You didn't do her oh okay. She looked too thin to be working out. Uh. But I just wanted <laughs> legs of a ballerina. Shoulders right back. Lengthen out those legs a little more, Trini. Let's increase, increase the resistance. Going for five. Shoulders back. I know it's burning, but think about those dresses that you want to wear. Three, two, last one. Good. Shake off the wrists. Shake off the wrists, okay. Okay. Right. And stand up. Okay, next exercise. Yeah. We're just gonna do a little bit of back work, okay? okay. So for that, I'll, you're going to take this yellow band. Yeah. I might just show you this yeah, exercise show me, show me, show for a second. Me, show us, show us. Yes, hello everybody, darling, good morning. Okay, so there's Natalie, look at her fantastic figure. See, that's a girl who's, you might be skinny, but you're so fit and I know how well oh, yeah, you eat. So strong, yeah. she's just fit and strong and she's got a body built like that. Tragically so fantastic. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Yeah. Arms are going to, you're going to think about lifting the elbows, okay? Yeah. So you lift, squeeze the back, and then lengthen. This is working the back of the shoulder to give you that sort of nice defined shoulder. Okay. Area. Okay? Great leggings. Thank oh, you. Really nice color. New balance. They were in the sale. <laughs> right, cross the band over. Yeah. Okay. Push your hips back. Yeah. Now lift your elbows, but bring. Elbows well. But you want to bring the, the so the back of the hand is turned forwards. Like that. That's it, and then you lift, okay. nice and high. So bring the elbows forwards a little bit more. That's it. Now pull. Do you feel the difference? Yeah. 
So we're really getting the top of the mid-back muscles and the back of the shoulders here, so that posterior deltoid. Deep breath in, lengthen the arms, exhale, pull. Good. Sit, squeeze the back. Perfect. Lift the elbows a little higher. Going for another three, two, and last one. Good. And put that band down. Okay. Right, Trini, yeah. you're going to do a mountain climb of variation using the glider, but just for 20 seconds because it's very intense. Oh, you have done it before. Yeah. So you can actually have your hands up on here. If they're slightly elevated, it's going to be easier. Yeah. Toes are going to go in the center of each glider. Then you're going to bring alternate bringing the knees towards the chest. So hips down, knees bent. So that's it. So you're going to bring your left. That's it. Perfect. Trini, how much water do you drink in a day? Probably two litres. Good. Can these exercises be done with weights? Yes, absolutely. Trini, you got 10 seconds. Good. Get that heart rate up. Belly button lifted. You got this. Legs working, cardio system, three, two, one, and stop. Loving watching this while I have a glass of wine. <laughs> I'm presuming okay. you look quite an alcoholic and it's night time in the southern hemisphere. <laughs> We'd like to hope Or so. you're just actually, no, it's got to be that. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> All right. okay, right, pick up that yellow band again. Okay. Little rest and then you're back to that upper back exercise, okay? Because you did mid back on Wednesday, so now we're gonna do, or lower back. Okay, so band is crossed over. And remember you're pushing the hips back, knees slightly bent, lifting the elbows. That's it. Good. Lift the elbows a little higher. That's it, so think about putting them up. Back of the hand turned forwards. I think that's it. And then really lift enough to feel these muscles working all across the back here. Good. Um, is this in heat or is Trini just doing an excellent job? Is this in heat? Yes. Oh, is it hot here? It's like 20 degrees, I It's think. 20 degrees. Trini is working super hard. It's, but if you didn't watch the last live, she's done a really tough workout today. Three. Two, last one, and rest. Okay. Oh, did that get your hand? Oh, yeah, yep, you've got one more of the mountain climbers and then you're stretching. Oh, yes, hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah, you. Um, okay, right, hands on the bench, or that little step, just to make it a tiny bit easier, take some pressure off the upper body. And then you're going to be, make sure the toes are in the center of the glides. That right one might slip a little bit. There we go. Okay. okay. And let's go. This is a really tough exercise. This is advanced. I, Trini would not have been doing this three months ago. This. Okay, let's go this, yeah. Just go across a little bit. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Right, to go, right it in the centre. There we go. Now stay light on those toes. Um, shoulder strengthening exercises. The last couple of exercises we've done, this is also great for the shoulders. Sit deep breaths, Trini. Lower the hips a little bit. Good. Ten seconds. You've got this. Yes, getting strong this morning. Okay. Five. Going for three, two, one, and stop. Stop. 